Hi, this is James, and I want to tell you about my new custom twin arcade racer. It's really been a labor of love for me the last six months, and I'm really excited to finally share it with my friends. Uh, I've, I've been passionate about video games and, and racing my whole life, and it's really through playing video games as a child. Uh, video games was really my only outlet as a child to experience cars and I really feel like I developed the my competitive nature and love of cars from playing video games particularly games like Daytona USA are a good example I can remember many times playing my good friend Ben in Daytona USA and looking over to the to him sitting next to me playing and just having a great time and video games have really evolved over the years graphics have got better simulation much better uh, and of course now you can race your friends online and so you can race your friend from the comfort of your couch you can race multiple friends but for me I just felt like there's something missing there I miss being able to look to the guy next to you you're racing against and and you know joking and carrying on back and forth and uh, as you're as you're racing and so I really wanted to to bring that back um, unfortunately, a, a lot of games these days have eliminated system link functionality, but uh, still using online functionality, you can still link up systems. So, now uh, what I've done is built a twin racer, twin racing cabinet here in my basement. This is the workshop area of my basement. Why my workshop? Well, if it wasn't in my workshop, my little children would not be able to keep their hands off of it. Uh, my my kids are already excited to play it and I've had to build them a custom pedal box so it raises the pedal just a bit uh, but uh, regardless of that there is I've also put in a lot of adjustability into this setup so I'm going to give you a little walk around and show you some of the neat features of this uh, first of all it is an Xbox 360 based system as you might be able to notice from the steering wheels and the reason I went with Xbox 360 is because I'm a fan of Xbox 360 uh, particularly the Forza Motorsport series and I owned an Xbox 360 and happened and already had a steering wheel uh, my good friend Aaron he also donated another steering wheel to the cause so I had did have to uh, buy another Xbox to throw in here but had a lot of the existing equipment ultimately I would like to upgrade this system to a PC based system to run higher end simulator racing software and also some arcade emulators uh, from games of the past but uh, that's gonna have to wait for now because that's a pretty expensive proposition uh, but uh, as you can see it, it, the, the setup as is is gonna be quite a lot of fun so I've got of course the Xbox 360 steering wheels and these are not fresh out of the box steering wheels these actually have been modified the bearing in here is a bit weak so I've it's just a simple plastic bearing so both the steering wheels I've disassembled and replaced with a roller bearing so the feel of the steering wheel is much better there's a lot less play in the steering wheel much tighter that's a, a very good and uh, for the comfort of the user there's a lot of adjustability the steering wheel angle is adjustable very easy I have an adjustment back here I'll demonstrate that allows me to adjust the angle of the steering wheel to accommodate different users as you can see there and I just put a pin in and it locks it in place so that's nice uh, additionally I have adjustable pedals down here and of course I mentioned for my children or any small kids they need a, a pedal box to raise the pedals up just a little bit uh, but if for just minor adjustments these pins can be pulled and this can be slid in order to fit different leg lengths to get good comfort the monitor height is also adjustable it's currently at its highest but it could be lowered and it has two other positions to get a little lower the seats are straight out of the junkyard they are out of a Dodge Neon a second gen Dodge Neon and uh, was they're in in fair shape good enough we got a good price on them so can't complain of course you got the typical adjustability that you would have in a vehicle 
You've got a forward and back adjustment, and of course you can recline, and the headrest adjusts, of course, too, if you're inclined to do that. And then the, uh, the monitors, I believe they're 23 inch ViewSonics. You can see I was limited on the size by these bars on the side. Uh, so that was, this is the biggest monitor that I could fit in here. And then the final piece of equipment is the speakers. I'm using Logitech speakers. It's, uh, I believe, the Z623, which is a very highly rated speaker system. Both sides, of course, have the same speaker system. It's a 100 watt, a 2.1 system, and you can see the speakers are mounted just by your ears. So when you're, when you're driving an arcade game or simulator and you, you got the engines purring, you really hear that sound very vividly. And then, of course, you got to have a subwoofer. The subwoofer is mounted directly underneath the seat. There's a 7-inch subwoofer that fires directly up into your butt. So it's a lot of fun. It, every time somebody sits in here for the first time and starts playing, they immediately notice it. It's, it's pretty cool. So uh, you also might be uh, kind of curious about the, the case itself. This, this, the shell of it, the chassis, this is all aluminum. And this section here is mostly wood, but has some steel inlays also. And I would love to brag that I built that chassis myself, but I did not. I was very lucky and inherited this chassis from my company, actually. Uh, my company used this setup for uh, an arcade racer, similar to this, uh, for uh, trade shows. But at some point, they realized that the customers weren't really responding to it because adults don't typically want to play this sort of thing at trade shows. Uh, so they abandoned the, the, uh, the chassis. They stripped all the hardware off of it, and, and it was just left abandoned. And I asked if I could claim it and got really lucky. So uh, I, there, I am, I am uh, proud of the fabrication work that I've done because I've done quite a bit. Myself, uh, I added this adjustable uh, steering and the adjustable steering wheel that for to, to give the tilt of the steering, the adjustable monitor height, the adjustable pedals, that's all my work. Uh, mounting the subwoofer and the rails for the seat is all my work. And the, the, sub, the, uh, the speaker mounts here is all my work as well. So, uh, but I'm very, very lucky that, that I was able to run across this chassis because I never would have built anything like this myself. So, uh, and, and the quality of it is just absolutely fabulous. The, the welds are, are fantastic and when I've had to cut through some of this wood it's just amazing how thick it is and how well done all everything is. So it's really blessed that I got a hold of this. So let me show you now inside what's going on in the guts. This side, you can just see I got an Xbox 360 stuffed in there. So, uh, both sides have an Xbox 360. And I've got fan. There is a couple fans inside here that keep this area cool, even when this door is closed. So, of course, you can run any Xbox 360 games. My favorite to play on here are uh, Daytona USA and uh, Project Gotham Racing 3 and 4. The Dirt series, Dirt 1 and 2, those are great because they're uh, linkable. And, of course, Forza Motorsport, when it comes to simulation, is my favorite. Uh, Forza Motorsport 4. Um, and also, uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is pretty cool, too. It doesn't work quite so well with the steering wheel, but the sound is just phenomenal with Need for Speed, especially with this setup. So, I'm really excited to have some friends over to try this out. Um, I've been tweaking it for the last couple months and my my kids have been playing it they're happy about it now they really love it you see you can see i got a big whiteboard up here hanging it so we can record lap times and have little tournaments and things like that so anxious to have you all over hope you like it thanks